This video is brought to you in part by Logitech. Hello once again guys and thank you for watching my unboxing. Today we're going to be unboxing the new Logitech RGB 7.1 surround sound gaming headset which is the G633 Artemis Spectrum. Showing you guys the specs in the back of the box. So this headphones um, has the uh, new advanced Pro-G audio drivers, which is in the cans. So one thing I gotta tell you guys, this unboxing is pretty uh, premium. Again, good um, packaging by Logitech. Okay, there we have the uh, USB, USB cord. The USB cord is actually not braided, but um, it's strong enough. And we have the 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can use it as a, a regular headphones to your um, uh, mobile devices. And that's it. Nothing else in the empty box. And here is the headset. So first things first, this headset is beautiful. I love the mesh and I'm gonna keep repeating myself with that. So it's really light. Um, you, I can actually wear this headset for a very long time without um, you know, getting any pressure on the side or on the ear. There you can see the switches that they have on the side. You can actually switch it to your stereo 3.5 and your USB to your PC, which is the one I'm pointing to right now. The side of the, the cans. That glossy um, part of the headset is actually made out of plastic. Um, majority of this headset is actually made out of plastic. There you can remove the, the plates on the side of the, the can so you can actually change it or customize it yourself. If you have your own group or clan, you can actually use that. So again, what a beautiful product this is. Probably one of the best head, um, headset I've ever had actually. And there you have um, my old Logitech headset. And it's really dusted now. I actually don't use it anymore um, because I lost the dongle for it. That's actually um, a Bluetooth headset that they have. So side by side comparison. So I can tell you guys right now the Spectrum Artemis Spectrum is actually smaller than the the old head headset they have. I believe that's the G933. Let me correct myself here real quick. G930. So the the jack on that, uh, as you can see, the, the boom stick is actually not, um, you can't actually fix it. It's actually set, just drop down. That mesh though on the side is very comfy. Great decision by Logitech. And the boom stick, great. It's, uh, I love the design on that boomstick. 
you actually can't, you know, you can hide it and use this as a regular um, headphone or headset. On here, I'm showing you guys with it uh, plugged in. You can see all the RGB lighting up. There you can see, I'm taking off the side plates where you can see the RGB bulb installed in, st installed in there. You can change that to your liking. See, the only thing is, um, what I actually don't understand is why they only wrap the RGB on the back side of the headset. They could have done like a wrap around. Here, I'm showing you guys how it is on the head. So the boom stick right there, it's a barely noticeable. Watch, you can actually bend the, the boom stick itself and that way you can um, retract it and put it back like there's nothing on there. The side view, the back where the RGB is, and the front, the other side. It's very good and light. This is the um, the sound of the the microphone. So I'm just checking it out. Mic one two three. I mean the mic itself is actually not that bad. So. Um, it's not as good as the ones before on like this, one. this one. Although this was a, a lot heavier than this one. So if you guys know what I mean. If you guys ever owned the, the old ones, are, it's pretty heavy and it gets worn. And the material actually gets damaged in quite easily. So I like the mesh. Here I'm showing you guys the um, Logitech gaming software and how it is. There's the button settings where you can macro all the apps and all the um, uh, buttons that you can assign it to. It's pretty much limitless in what you can do. Along with the keyboard, it actually synchronizes together when it comes to your macros. And then the lighting effect. You got the breathing. The color cycle. And the solid colors. The synchronized lighting if you want to synchronize it with any of your keyboards or peripherals that you owned that has RGB. Unfortunately, uh, the Proteus Core doesn't have RGB. But nonetheless, it's a good product as well. custom lighting if you want to do it or you can turn it off you can decide in, uh, in the logo if you want or if you just want the logo itself and uh, the pre settings equalizers so you have the flat FPS MOBA drop the bass cinematic gaming and communications you can, you can turn on the advanced equalizer if you want. You can mute your mic or to, um, you just want it muted. And then this the surround sound. I love using the DTS. Um, you can actually use the Dolby if you want. But for me, I love the DTS. You can change it to super stereo wide or your studio. First person signature studio DTS 7.1. And that's it, guys. All right, guys, final thoughts on this product. So, um, I opted to get the, um, the wired version instead of the, um, the USB Bluetooth Bluetooth one because um, 
when I used to have the um, the the G ninety three, um, there's some interference going on whenever I have it on Wi Fi, so it's not it's not really a good thing. But um, as far as this headset goes, it's very light. It's very light. I mean, I can literally like you know hold this with one finger. But this on the other hand, it has some weight on it. And I did have some issues with this being a little too big and too heavy and bulky. As you can, see, it's not. It, it's made out of plastic as well, but it's um, it's a different type of plastic than this one. Um, I, I, I did like the the synthetic leather at first, but then it started tearing apart or falling apart, and um, you know. It, it gets really warm because there's no air. The The reason why I love the mesh is because um, it, it allows some breathing room when you're using it for a very long time. Especially when you're watching movies or your shows or you're playing games like nonstop. Um, the, the, the boomstick on this, the microphone. Okay, The microphone is actually a little responsive than the Artemis. I don't know why, uh, to be honest, I, I don't know why, but it, it, that should have been um, much responsive. But um, but I love how you can bend this as well, but it just looks ugly. Like, yeah, yeah, like you can, you can, yeah, you, you know what I mean? You see that? <laughs> not, not, wasn't a big fan of that. Now this one. Um, the side, it's hardly noticeable, okay? You can go out and, you know, it's very stylish, very stylish. Um, the only thing I kind of didn't like about it is, it would have been awesome, Logitech, on your next product, I'm telling you guys now, on your next product, try to wrap it around, you know, in the front as well. Because especially for, like, us like who streams our games and um, you know who publish videos and stuff like that we, we want to see that lighting effect in the front but you know it's all up to you it's all up to people's preference but the backlighting that one right there it looks awesome it looks great and I love how comfy it is it's really freaking comfy guys I'm telling you this is amazing. Like I, I can wear this like nothing all day, any damn day. Like it's it's perfect. It's great. Um, the the wire is not braided, but it, that's not a big deal. Um, because this 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 is really thick cable, guys. I mean, I can roll my chair on it and probably won't get damage. And the USB, it actually, there's when you take it off, there's a little bit, a little bit of resistance to it, so it doesn't come off quite easy like the last one. Also, another issue I've had with this, another issue I had with this, I lost the dongle. So it would have been nice for Logitech to um, enable um, to use just the USB and just run it through like a regular headset, but you can't do that with this one. Um, I don't want to buy another one, <laughs> so I ended up waiting for, you know, waiting for this. Now, this is amazing. There's another version of this, which is the um, the um, Bluetooth one. Um, I learned my lesson. <laughs> I'd rather go with a wired one because uh, it's more clear and precise. Um, and other than that, oh, in the back, in the bottom, I forgot to show you guys. The bottom has the... The, the plug for um, the uh, three and a half millimeter jack so you can use it as an audio product or uh, regular headphones with your uh, devices and the volume uh, volume rocker is on here and again the switch don't forget guys don't forget when you get this product don't forget the switch you you might be tripping out and you'll you'll be like um it's not working and actually, you have to switch it to 3.5 or to USB, depending on what you're doing or what you're using it for. Okay, my final verdict on this. I love, I love this headphones. 
but you know there's uh, there's a little bit of you know thing that you know uh it's mostly great you know it's mostly uh, my review for this is just amazing um i would have wished the the led wrap around um i would have wished the uh the mic but i wish the mic would have been a little clearer or a little stronger i mean you can probably fix it or hack it but um uh we don't want that but uh, as far as what i can tell you guys I would give this a 9.5 out of 10. That's how much I love this headphones or headset. I use it a lot on everything that I'm doing. It's a very light. I can use it all day, all night, and without any issues or anything like that. So that's it for my review of the Artemis Spectrum. Um, thank you, Logitech. This is a great device. This is a, well, actually a great product. Continue making improvements for the, on this. A lot better than your old one. Thank you. And guys, thank you for all the support for PSAP. And have a good night.